Ali Che Sam is likely to make his debut because Courtney Rawls is excluded from the Italian game. Courtney Laws has been ruled out of England's Six Nations match with Italy on Sunday, as he is yet to fully recover from the concussion he suffered almost a month ago. Laws, 32, has not played since taking a knock to the head when Northampton Saints faced Ulster on January 16. In the absence of Laws, who also missed the defeat by Scotland at Mayfield on Saturday, Tom Curry is expected to be captain again, while Ollie Chesham, the 21-year-old Leicester Tigers forward, looks likely to debut. Eddie Jones has retained 27 players for the game in Rome. Joe Launchberry, who had been added to the squad in place of the injured Lewis Ludlam, has been released to play for Wasps, having made his comeback after a nine-month injury layoff last weekend. Lake Laws, Chesham, at 6 feet 7 inches and 18 stick 8 pounds can play lock or blindside flanker. We see him in the same mold as Courtney, Jones, the head coach, said last month. He's got good line-out skills, he can carry, he can hit, he's got plenty of energy and vigor. If Jones sticks with the second-row combination of Mauro Itoge and Nick Isiqui that started at Mayfield, Chesham could come into the back row at number six in place of Ludlam. Alternatively, Jones could start Charlie Yules alongside Itoge, moving Isiqui to blindside flanker and using Chesham from the bench. Callum Chick, the Newcastle Falcons' back row, will train with England this week but is not in the squad. Among the backs, the nine players who were included in the matchday squad against Scotland have been retained, with the addition of Adam Radwin, the Newcastle Falcons wing. There is no place for Mark Atkinson, the Gloucester inside centre, who could have offered a more direct option at inside centre to Henry Slade, who partnered Elliot Daly in midfield at Meafield. Meanwhile, Joe Marler has spoken of how he felt like Eminem in his semi-autobiographical film, when the ball was thrust into his hand for a crucial defensive lineout after Luke Cow and Dickey the hooker, was sent to the sin bin in the 20-17 defeat by Scotland. In the 2002 movie, Eminem's character finds himself pitched into a rap battle with a fellow aspiring artist and given 45 seconds on stage to demonstrate his skills in front of a bang crowd. When he lifts the microphone to his mouth, no words come out, the crowd chant choke, choke and he leaves the stage. Marler, the loose head prop, had thrown the ball into a line-out only once before in international rugby and that was almost a decade ago. The ball did not travel the requisite five metres to Alex Dombrandt. Scotland won a penalty at the ensuing scrum and Finn Russell kicked the decisive three-point. I just didn't throw it at the right time Marler said. I felt like Eminem when he chokes on stage with his rap. Marler said his fellow props, Ellis Genge and Kyle Sinclair, had set the tone in training this week, as England seek a quick response to the law. We can't sit and wallow, Marler. 31, said. Those two are showing massive amounts of maturity to lead this squad. England 27-man squad for Italy. Forwards, Jamie Blamire, Ollie Chesham, Luke Cowan Dickey, Tom Curry, Alex Dombrandt, Charlie Yules, Ellis Genge, Jamie George, Joe Hayes, Mauro Itoge, Nick Isiqui, Joe Marler, Bevan Rod, Sam Simmons, Kyle Sinclair, Will Stewart. Backs, Elliot Daly, George Ford, Max Mallins, Joe Marchant, Jack Noel, Adam Radwin, Harry Randall, Henry Slade, Marcus Smith, Freddie Stewart, Ben Young.